thumbnail. Why? If you've watched, blah, I've been talking so much today. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Today it is my January sewing plans and fabric haul. I have not bought any new fabric for this haul. It's all stuff from my stash, which is awesome. Stuff from my stash. There's a hashtag. <laughs> but I do have some new fabrics in here, which either were presents or gifts from the company. So I will let you know which is which as I go through. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you, or especially from 2021, you guys will know that I have been more and more sewing in collections of fabrics because I really like how the final kind of lookbooks come together. I'm enjoying thinking outside the box and not just making dress after dress after dress out of like a random array of completely different prints that have no cohesion whatsoever. I've been really enjoying pushing myself to make separates and solids that go in with all the prints that I like because I have a lot of prints in my wardrobe. I need some solid or plain garments to go in with them because otherwise the skirts and the tops are just not getting worn. So it's been really interesting working in collections and I put together three different collections for the Patreon peeps to vote on. They have the Foliage Canopy, Anaconda Antithesis which is just down there and the collection that won the vote for the next one that should be sewn which is Cobra Corsage! This is really heavy! Oof. So yeah, Cobra Corsage, technically the vote is still going but it's got twice as many votes as either of the other categories so uh, I'm guessing that Cobra Corsage is going to win and it is going to be the first collection that I work on next year. Now I'm not going to be back in the sewing room until the 11th of January and I do have four dresses that I already have cut out so those are going to get sewn up first. It's the 9076, the 9345, the 932 eight and the 9327 all Vogue patterns. They are going to get sewn up first. Then I'm going to move on to the Cobra Corsage collection which is looking more and more intimidating the longer I sit here. When I first started putting this together I, I was like oh I've only got a little bit of Cobra Corsage, not as much as I thought I had and then found a bit more and then found a bit more and then I got sent some as a thank you for doing some promo work and I've asked for two lengths for Christmas and also there is some teal one coming as well so I actually do have quite a lot of Cobra Corsage. Yeah it's one of my favourite prints. It's my gateway print into the Lady McElroy world. It was the first print that I found out about Lady McElroy through. I saw somebody at the dressmaker's ball wearing a dress in the Cobra Corsage cotton lawn and I was smitten. I love it. I've made an 8577, I have made a 7319. I have since sold that dress because I'm going to remake it so I need to find somebody that still has the the, the uh, viscose jersey for sale because I thought Sherwoods did and they don't. So I suddenly panicked and was like oh my gosh. I also have a t-shirt in it and I think that, oh no, I've got an Eve dress in the Visco's lawn as well. I think that's it. The rest of it I have been hoarding in my stash because I just don't know what to do with it, but it's going to be rectified and I will be making stuff with it in January. So that's a lot of waffle, four minutes of waffle to get into the video, so let's start. First up, I have the plain ones that are gonna go with this print. And my very first one is this leather look very stretchy jersey that I got from Girl Charlie so I'm afraid I can't link to it. It is super super st stretchy and I was going to make the saffron jeans with it from Deer and Doe. I am not going to do that. I'm going to make a pair of leggings with it and I'm probably going to use the latest McCall's pattern that I got with the crossover front because I really like that crossover front. I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable wearing these as leggings. I don't know if they're going to look good on me but I used to wear leggings all the time and I want to make some more tunic length tops. As you guys know I've christened my last couple of years of sewing as the 70s pirate capsule collection. Started off with this lot and it's just grown from there and I really love that silhouette so leggings, knee-high boots, tunic tops or shirts that cover my butt with waistcoats on. Yes it's going to look very pirate 
I don't care. I like that look. I haven't worn leggings for a long time. I used to have the American par apparel leather look leggings, so I wanted to give these a try. It could be great. It could be awful. We shall see. Then I have the viscose jerseys that I got get from Minerva.com. I'm really sorry, but they don't have this fabric listed anymore. They used to have like 125 colours of it, most of which were out of stock. It was one of those ones where suddenly something came back into stock and I was thinking, oh, maybe they found a bolt when they were moving the warehouse around or something. It's no longer on the website so I can't list to it. I'm very sorry. I love this fabric. Uh, viscose, it's basically a viscose jersey in a plain colour so if you can find a really nice viscose jersey then you know that's the equivalent of this. I bought about 40 colours of the 125. I would have bought all 125 if they'd all been available so I'm kind of glad that they weren't. These are some of the ones that I have left. So we've got some browns at the top there into a bright green and then two different types of orange so a slightly more muted and a very vivid orange at the bottom. All of these work really well with all of the different tones that are in the Cobra Corsage print. This one's making a bit for freedom. Freedom! There are also some really nice reds that I have but I've put those in with foliage canopy because there's some really nice reds in foliage canopy. I may swap out the browns for the reds and do it the other way around but they basically these all of these colours work really well with the colours in the Cobra Corsage prints regardless of which background they're on. I mean some of them are going to work better with others but yeah regardless of the colour of the background the actual print itself picks out all of these colours. So I'm going to be making different tops from this. There's going to be Adrian t-shirts, there's going to be Gable t-shirts. I would really like to give the Batwing t-shirt from DP Studios another go. I'm going to make it in a much smaller size because I do think that pattern is going to look amazing on me once I get the sizing right. I do like the red one that I've made but I think I could do better. What else am I going to make? Cow neck t-shirts. There's going to be a whole bunch of t-shirts made from this. I've got, hang on, one, two, I've got six here, so that's 12 t-shirts in, in total from this little lot. And that will be another one of those kind of like, get it all cut out, get it all sewn up, because I find those incredibly dull to sew. They're not fun, but they are very quick. So they do get done every now and again. And now we're into the Cobra Corsage itself. So first up, I have about a metre and a half of the, the cream viscose jersey. This is so, so pretty. I have made a cowl neck t-shirt out of the black version of this. If I can find it, I might go back and buy more so that I can make a dress out of this as well because I really like the 7319 dress now that I've perfected the fit. It would look immense as a dress. That is the dress that I would like to make in the black version. It's the one that I sold to Charlie because she wanted it for her daughter. I wanted to remake it because I'd used viscose throughout it and I, I now use cotton jersey as an underliner for it there is a sew along for that dress so if I can find more of this I might get more of this so I can make a dress and a t-shirt in both the black and the cream colorway this is called Chantilly and it is gorgeous yes I have issues we know this I also have the Chantilly base on the cotton lawn it is stunning I love it I really really love it the snakes and bugs kind of a predominantly blue on this colorway they do change the colors of the snakes and bugs depending on the background but they're predominantly blue on this one mum has made a dress from this and she didn't like it and she ended up giving it away and i was very annoyed with her for making a dress that she'd not twirled and found out if she liked or not first from such expensive fabric but you know what never mind it was her fabric it's her to do with as she wishes my best friend would like a pair of pajamas from this fabric and big bird has made a pair of pajamas from this fabric and they look awesome with the black piping. It was the Carolyn pajamas. I'm going to be making a shirt dress with this. It's going to be the 6891 which is the McCall's number. I think they've transferred it over to Butterick now with a different number because they like to make my life difficult. I mean it's obviously it's not just about me. I know that. <laughs> I memorize all these pattern numbers and then they change them around on me. Why? Uh, but yes I'm going to make the shirt dress with this. I have five meters so I will probably have enough to make a shirt as well. I did when I made that shirt dress out of the Flamingo Habitat. You guys have asked for a sew along for that shirt dress and also I fully lined it because the fabric was sheer so I'm going to do the same with this one so I will be doing a tutorial on how to draft a lining for this and lining this dress this bodice and also I will be doing a full sew along for the actual shirt dress itself which I'm very excited about. Next up we have one of the new colorways Lady McElroy put up on their Instagram the colorways that they released Cobra Corsage in so far and then asked for recommendations for other colorways and quite a few of us said teal, red and mulberry 
and they've released it in teal red and mulberry which is wonderful of them so this is the mulberry colorway to be honest if they'd had the bright red background on the viscose lawn i'd have gone for that one but the bright red only comes on cotton lawn which is fine and gorgeous and i'll probably end up getting some at some point but i wanted the viscose background for this they have changed the color of the snakes they've gone very kind of purpley on this one and they kind of look almost sort of like iridescent i mean they're not but they the, the way that the colors come up it looks very iridescent so like on this one these snakes are bright blue and so are the bugs and on this one they're kind of like very bright purple almost fluorescent purple i have five meters of this lady mcelroy sent this to me as a thank you for doing some promo work for them which was very nice of them and it's been washed and i am going to make something like the 7537 with the ruffled and gathered and tiered skirt because i absolutely love that dress it's in my top five twice for my makes last year and for a reason it's just ruffly heavenly gorgeousness i very much like gunny sacks clothing i very much like zimmerman clothing and i very much like 70s style clothing and i think it's like a modern take on all of those things um, zimmerman obviously is a modern take on those kinds of things as well which is why i like zimmerman so much but yes i think this dress is going to be a tiered gathered skirt 7537 i am really excited by the fact that i can have one of those in the cobra corsage as well as all the other dresses that i'm going to have out of this i did get a comment on the december lookbook just saying i don't understand why you keep make so much stuff out of the same fabric i love it i love these prints i love 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 these prints and i know that i would get very fear, fomo fear of missing out if i had one length of this print and i want to make all the things and i know that i would be too scared to cut into it because i would be like well what if i make the wrong thing and then i see something else that would have been so much better and it just i just ah uh. that's why i buy so many of the same print i mean this time thankfully i've done it on different colors so you know there's some variation but the savannah i just bought 30 meters of that and have gone to town and I still have a little bit left and there will be more savannah coming next year the reason that i buy so many of the different bases that these prints are put onto is because i adore them and i like wearing them they make me happy yeah i don't think i need any any other reason that, but that they do make me happy next up we have cobra corsage on the kiwi background now on the website this actually looks kind of lime green but it is a true kiwi color this is the inside of a kiwi fruit and hopefully my screen is giving you an accurate representation of the color but if it's not trust me kiwi is a good name for this again the bugs and snakes on this one are the original colorway so they're all still blue i just i love this i've got five meters of it i got it from the festival of quilts i'm gonna make an 8577 out of this i already have an 8577 in cobra corsage in the black colorway i'm not sorry that i'm going to be making another one in the kiwi colorway because i love that dress i wear that dress frequently i have six of them now one two three four five six yes i have six of them four of them are from lady mcelroy prints and so i'm going to have seven and five of them will be lady mcelroy prints i i, I yeah I'm, I'm not sorry sorry not sorry <laughs> i i will be making different silhouettes next year i promise but this one is going to be an 8577 it's going to be beautiful so for christmas wilson is getting me five meters of the bottle green cobra corsage on viscose and he's getting me four meters of the bottle green cobra corsage on lawn i'm going to be making a vogue 9345 out of the cotton lawn with short sleeves this time i could make a sleeveless one but i think i'm going to go for the short sleeves and from the viscose i'm not sure i think I think I'm going to go for a Doris dress because I really like the Doris dress. I would say I'm going to go for an Eve dress but I already have the Cobra Corsage Noir, the black Eve dress out of that fabric. But I think I'm going to go for a Doris dress for some of it and then I'm going to make a top out of the rest of it because as I say I have five meters and I think I can get the Doris dress out of three meters even with me lengthening the bodice and the skirt. So. I have that one coming i also have the teal background coming i have ordered a bolt of that some of which is for big bird some of which is for me and some of which is going to go up in the shop and that is going to be a sew along i don't know which one yet i'm going to put it up for a vote on the peeps group patreon peeps are going to get to pick which pattern i make with that dress now hopefully it's going to be a pattern that i either know of and know will suit me or 
is going to be one that is going to be quick enough for me to twirl up in something not precious to then make it out of my precious 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 teal cobra corsage i'm really looking forward to having that fabric arrive get all the wet and as i say it's um it's a joint birthday present for big bird from mum and i so we need to send her hers over but it's not arrived as yet my battery's dying two sex i've gone through four batteries today <laughs> in fact five because i've recharged two of them twice so yeah five batteries today i filmed a lot i'm filming 11 videos today so fun times next up we have another plain one but i have tried to put them in color order so this is actually a polyester kind of textured satin it's got some hopefully that's showing up it's not just plain matte there's some kind of texture in in, in the, the print of this fabric well not print but finish of this fabric i bought this from the goldhawk road and it is absolutely beautiful i have no idea what to do with it i was thinking something along the lines of the sicily slip dress i think that that would look really really pretty i would like to twirl that i, I really love that pattern but i am a bit scared of it because it is cut on the bias and i'm worried that it's going to show every lump and bump especially if i use something like that but it is a pattern that i have been eyeing up for the longest time i don't have it yet but i think i'm going to purchase it and i think i'm going to attempt to make it out of that slippery slippery fabric i think it will look really really nice i think i will probably also make something because i have five meters of this i'll probably make something like the 6563 because i think that would go really well with the rest of the stuff that i'm planning for this collection as well then we have the cobra corsage funnily enough on the velvet background now i have two meters of this i wish i'd bought more because obviously velvet has a nap and you need to take that into consideration when you are cutting your fabric out my pile's getting higher and higher and higher i want to make like a smoking jacket from this i really 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 love this mccall's dressing gown and pajama bottom pattern i don't think i'm going to have enough of this fabric to even make the shortest version and i don't think i would like the shortest version on me i do want it to have a waist seam and i do want it to have a peplum but i don't want think i want it to be that full of peplum but i do like the upper portion of that mccall's jacket so i might try and slim down the peplum to accommodate the amount of fabric i have but i don't know if that's going to work so this might end up being I, I would really like you got your guys' recommendations for this one. It's I, I want a smoking jacket. I want to do a solid satin for the lapels and for the cuffs and the belt. I want it to be belted. I would like some shaping in at the waist. And I have two meters of a velvet fabric. So it's it's got an, I mean, the Cobra Corsage is directional, although I think you can get away with cutting it with the snakes and bugs upside down because snakes and bugs go upside down quite easily and they look like they defy gravity. So... I think you can get away with it being upside down but obviously velvet has a nap so i can't cut pieces the wrong way up i can't nest pieces on this so i'm going to have to be really strategic about what i use this velvet for but i absolutely love it. i wish i'd bought more because I, I don't now i'm not sure if i'm gonna regret asking this in the in the comments but i haven't seen it available anywhere i did think they did a, quite a small run of it and i think it sold out pretty quickly if you guys know of the cobra corsage velvet anywhere let me know because I might buy a little bit more and then just make that full on dressing gown like you know calf length because that would be the dream but I'd need a lot more of it I know I would because again velvet has a nap but a smoking jacket that is what I would like out of this and it is technically to be worn around the house but depending on where I'm going and who I'm spending time with it might get worn outside of the house and depends what it look like looks like as well but yeah i have enough of this print that i would be willing to make pajamas like you know dressing gown like housewear out of it as it were two more we have five meters of the lena crepe i bought this because they hadn't released the viscose yet and i wanted something that had some drape and whilst the cotton lawn is lovely the print on the cotton lawn does fade quite considerably whereas the print on this this has been washed the print stays really vibrant on this that's just the nature of the beast that's what happens with polyester fabrics as opposed to cotton fabrics i know this it's not the end of the world i still love my cobra corsage dress i um wear it frequently but yes it's not as vibrant as the polyester bases i bought five meters of this and i don't know what to do with it because as you guys know i'm not a huge fan of polyester next to my skin so what i'm thinking is i'm going to do the five panel circle skirt with this fabric and 
when I did my Savannah five panel circle skirt, I actually ended up with the perfectly sized pieces for the Hunter tank. Now I'm going to line the five panel circle skirt with a viscose. And I'm thinking because I like to fully line my Hunter tank, I'm gonna line that with a black viscose as well. So that it will give me the polyester crepe on the outside so I get the look that I want, but on the inside next to my skin, I won't have polyester touching me because that's usually what makes my skin crawl. And to be honest, I'm wearing a scuba dress today and this one is kind of making my skin crawl, which is unusual. Scuba dresses I usually am a huge fan of, but this one is kind of making my skin itch, which is not great, but never mind. I think it might just be like, me in my head yeah, getting getting you know far too in my own head but yeah i have five meters of this so i'm thinking i am going to make the five panel circle skirt a hunter tank and then i'm going to line something i may do a little jacket and i have lined my two sorrento jackets with the lena crepe in the savannah print so it works really well for the body of it because it whilst it's smooth it's not smooth enough for the sleeves but it is smooth enough for the body of a jacket i've found so i, I will probably have enough left over to do that so i think that's going to be my plan for my lena crepe and i've had this in my stash for the longest time so it definitely deserves to be made up and then finally they released Cobra Corsage on their Candice drill I think that's what they call it it is a cotton drill with 2% spandex in it so it has some really nice stretch I bought two and a half meters of this with the intention of making the ginger jeans I don't like skinny jeans on myself at the moment things might have changed by next year but I just I don't like that look so I want to do something along the lines of the lander pants I know this is going to be incredibly busy and in your face and loud in that. I know, but I don't care. I will wear it with pride. It's gorgeous. I love this print and I want to cover my body in it. Like, I think again, Lauren said when I did my Savannah one, she was like, so you want to wear a head to toe? Cobra, uh, head to toe savannah it's like yes yes i do and now it's cobra corsage's turn it's going to be foliage canopy next and then anaconda antithesis so you know roses there's lemons there's um more savannah in there so yes i am a lady mcelroy addict there's no getting away from it i love it it's gorgeous it makes me happy i want to wear it all the time so i shall <laughs> simple as that basically but yes i think something like the lander pants but i need to get those to fit me and i was supposed to be sewing and getting trousers to fit me in december but i started a keto diet in october and it's really working for me i've lost a stone so far and i am continuing to lose weight i have a goal in mind and when i get to that goal I will then start making myself some trousers because the idea of fitting trousers to me now and then losing more weight and having to do all that work over again does not appeal. And I've used this excuse for not making trousers for a very, very long time. And it has been an excuse and it's been an avoidance because trouser fitting fills me with dread. And I did make some trousers in 2021, the Decades of Style Empire trousers, Empire waist trousers and the 7131 and a pair of jogging bottoms. So I've made five pairs of trousers last year. The Empire waist trousers gave me such a crisis of confidence, knocked me for six, and I just got to the point where I was like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. But I like wearing trousers. I do like wearing trousers, so I want them back in my wardrobe. It would be very easy to make a skirt from this Candice drill. Very, very easy. And I have done that with the Jungle Tropics version of this particular base. And I love it, but I definitely want trousers in my life. So I am going to, like I say, I've given myself a, a, a goal. And once I get to that goal, I'm then going to try and start fitting myself for trousers. So fingers crossed, some lander pants. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be lander pants. It, I just, I want some fly front trousers that kind of resemble jeans, sort of, but obviously in snakes and bugs. So yeah. And that's my final Cobra Corsage fabric. So I've got it on one, two, three, four, five, six bases. I'm not ruling out buying the linen chambray. They have that on a couple of bases. There's also the navy background. Mum has some of the navy background in the viscose and it's gorgeous. So I'm not ruling out getting some of that as well. But I really don't need any more Cobra Corsage. I want it, but I don't need it. But when does that ever stop me? There's gonna be a lot of snakes and bugs in January and February. I'm planning on these collections taking, like being quarterly. I have called them the quarterly collections in my in my bullet journal. That is my plan for them to be, you sort of take three months. And as I say, I've got four of those other random dresses that I've still got to finish at the beginning of January as well. So I am not intending all of this to be finished in January, but this is what I would like to get started on in January and February and March. That's my plans to get all of this sewn up 
and twilled and tried out and we'll see how we go. So which one are you looking forward to seeing the most? Would you have any different ideas for any of these fabrics? Do you particularly like a particular colorway? Do I have a cut? Is there a colorway that I don't have that you think I should? Do you think there's a colorway out there that suits me? Let me know in the comments down below. Not that I need any more but oh and yes if anyone knows where I can get the velvet, more velvet, then I'd like to know that as well if you don't mind. <laughs> I promise I google these things and I just do not have any luck ever so yeah if you do find any of the velvet let me know because I think I'd like some more because I think I think the epic smoking jacket in that is going to be really cool really really cool anyway I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and I will see you again very soon bye <laughs>